Hey everyone, it's Tommy from Tech Nexus, and thanks for joining me on the last video for this week's series on Plant 3D Revit Navisworks. So, I was having a think before about sort of marketing or, or multimedia kind of things with these Navisworks files, and I'm not a I'm not a massive 3ds user, so I was thinking of doing some fancy 3D text for these equipment labels without having to use 3ds Max. So I thought inside AutoCAD, there is a command that lets you um, explode text and then we can extrude that into 3D. So I'm just gonna start the text command. And then the start point is zero, zero. The height, I'm gonna make it 10 and the angle uh, zero. And the text is gonna be P001. And that's the name of uh, this first pump here. So if I go back to select and then we can see that it's pump 001 and the next one beside it is pump 002 and I'm going to change the font style to be something different. Now if you load the express tools command there is a uh, explode um, uh, text command in there as well so you need to to load up the menu bar and then under the express then text then explode text we can explode that out and you can see it drops it down to polylines so now we can just use the extrude command so I'm gonna window around everything and extrude it up two millimeters and I'm gonna save that as p001 on my desktop and then close that off and start a new drawing and do the same. Go to text, single line, 0, 0, 0, 10, 0, P, 0, 0, 2. Change the text to be trebuchet. And then express text, explode. And then extrude it two millimeters. And if I switch to conceptual, you can see that they're 3D solids. And do the same thing, save it to my desktop as P002. So that's the AutoCAD side of things. Inside Navisworks, we now append those two files Look for Autodesk, one and two. And you'll see, and I'll just switch to my viewpoint and I'll do a zoom window, that they're really, really small sitting in the corner of the slab here. So you will need to do a bit of manipulation. And to do that, we select the files in the selection tree, right click, units and transform, and I'm gonna scale these up by 50. And there you can see pump one appears and do the same thing with the scaling for pump two. Now you can draw these to the right height in AutoCAD, but I'm showing you if, if they're too small then you can do it all in here too. And I want to rotate them 90 degrees about the X. Units and transform, 90, 1, 0, 0, and they're there. So now I'm gonna to switch to top view and orthographic and then I'm going to move them to where they're going to live above their associated pump. So I'm going to put this one above pump one and I'm going to put this one above pump two. Okay and now we're sort of getting somewhere. If we do the same thing for pump one and we go move and I pick the vertical leg of that uh, UCS icon then I can lift it up above the pump and there's the same thing for two okay so now we're going to start doing some animations and uh, how do I want to do this I want to maybe look from this angle and I save the viewpoint as view and then I want to switch it round 
to look from this angle and I want to save the viewpoint there as view and view one. Now inside the animator we add a scene and then I right click on the scene and I add a blank camera. Okay, so I switch back to view one. On my camera, I capture the keyframe. I go forward 10 seconds, switch to view one, and I capture the keyframe. And now, Navisworks will sort of float between the two views. So I've got pump one and pump two there as well for, for the, uh, the labels. Now, we also want to add some animation for these. So I right click on the scene, add animation set from current selection set. Okay, so this set is now aligned here, but I want to throw a move in there and I want to bring start this up at, uh, let's say 10 meters and capture the keyframe and then go forward 10 seconds and then make that zero so the origin where it was and capture that keyframe so now when we play it we get the animation of us spinning around to that pump and the words floating in as well so if we do the same thing for pump 2, right click, add animation set from current selection, I'll lift this up a little bit, and we want to move this up, um, we want it to come in a bit earlier, so maybe we'll make it 8 metres, and we capture the keyframe, go forward 10 seconds, Bring it back down to its origin and capture the keyframe. Rewind everything and now when we play it, we get the camera transitioning between the two views and you got pump one and pump two labels float in at the same time. Okay, now you can go through, you could animate everything, you can animate between these views. We can start linking these with the timeliner, but again, it's all sort of very dependent on uh, you and your project. So hopefully it's been an informative week for you. Um, thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you didn't. Please do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon for daily notifications of all of my videos. And I will see you next week for some more uh, Autodesk products and tips and tricks and whatever else I come across, maybe some forum answers. But have a good weekend and I will see you all next week. See you later.